Welcome to my channel about bars of soap. Today I'm investigating a bar of soap, or rather a kind of brick of soap, by the brand Grun Valerie Nature Cosmetic. The website as well as the packaging looks German, but this soap claims to be from Lebanon, so I'm a little bit confused, but I'm sure there's an easy explanation. Maybe this brand buys the soap from Lebanon and packages it in Germany. I can't really get to the bottom of it, but either way, I'm linking to their website, which I believe just links to Amazon, but that's in the description, as well as the ingredients of this soap, which I will also insert a clip of right now. The box claims that this bar is fair trade, eco-friendly, vegan, and not tested on animals. So as I open the box, I am greeted by a certificate of authenticity, which I just find delightful. I'll look at the certificate in a minute, but first I want to note on the aroma of this soap, which is unusual. It's definitely not perfumey or floral or anything like that. If anything, it smells more like a solvent or it reminds me of painting in a way. It's not exactly the smell of painting with oils with different solvents and thickeners and thinners, but it's got that kind of, I don't know, solvent smell. And I don't feel that that's a bad thing, by the way. I think I'm just smelling the raw ingredients of the soap, which I actually really like. If you are a person who likes perfumed soaps, or soaps that smell like flowers or different herbs, I'm not sure that you'll like this soap. This is definitely... it's just... it's got an unusual aroma. So now I'm looking at the certificate, which says that this soap is produced from the Syrian family Jubilee. The production takes place since decades in compliance with traditional values. Since centuries, the knowledge of producing original Aleppo soap has only been passed on as a legacy within the family. All the ingredients are coming from natural grown plants. So yeah, I suppose this does maybe smell like plants, but maybe of the Mm, oily variety, more like sticks or stems or the oil that comes out of some leaf. This certificate has got me really curious about Aleppo soap, so I did a little bit of reading about it and I wanted to share with you. Aleppo soap, also known as laurel soap, Syrian soap or gar soap, meaning laurel is a handmade hard bar soap associated with the city of Aleppo in Syria. Aleppo soap is classified as a Castile soap as it is a hard soap made from olive oil and lye from which it is distinguished by the inclusion of laurel oil. It says here that there are unverified claims of its great antiquity abound, such as its supposed use by Queen Cleopatra of Egypt. I'm also reading from their website that this product produces very little foam, and the higher the proportion of laurel, the more greasy and moisturizing the soap is. I got a 50-50 blend of laurel and olive oil, but I think they make different percentages of the soap. It also claims to be extra long matured over six years, whereby a pH value of under eight is reached. Visually, this is my kind of bar of soap. <laughs> I just love how rough and natural looking this bar is. It's kind of crumbly. It reminds me a bit of that Dr. Shea's bar. This soap looks more like kind of a building material, like a brick or a rock, than a bar of soap, and I just think it's so pleasing and unique. If I saw this on someone's soap dish, I would definitely be asking about it when I 
got out of the bathroom. Just a little side note, I've been saying embossment all these videos and I finally looked it up and actually embossing is when it's upraised and debossing is when it's pushed into the product. So technically these soap indentations are de debossments, debossing. Anyway, this bar has a debossment of some Lebanese writing, which I obviously can't read, but again, I just think it looks so beautiful and kind of mysterious and unique. As always, I tested this bar on my hands, and I will say it's kind of awkward to start washing your hands with because it's so big. It's just a big chunk of soap. Uh, it's not unpleasant, it's just kind of a different experience. Right away I noticed that bubbles are forming, but not so much lather, and the smell is even more strong once it is being put under water and my hands are being washed with it. Initially I really like how it lathers up, but when I wash the lather off of my hands, it is kind of hard to get off. I think that's due to, again, the higher proportion of laurel, that 50-50 blend, which they do state as a more greasy, moisturizing soap. Uh, it's, it's not bad. I think that for me, though, I prefer a more cleaner, cleaner washing off experience. It took quite a while to get all the residue off of my hands. For someone with very dry skin, I think this soap would be great, though. I think that wouldn't be a negative, it would in fact be a positive. All in all, I recommend this soap. I think it's different, I think that it smells good, I think that the smell is not for everyone. It's definitely not like other soaps that you might have experienced before. I hope you enjoyed this bar of soap.